Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about four different ways you can delete apps on a Mac. So on Windows, you can go into your package manager and you can like uninstall software. And on Linux, you can do the same thing. Um, Mac doesn't really have a system standard for deleting applications. So here I have my applications folder open and I have all these apps here. And one thing you can do to delete an app is you can just drag it to the trash. So I'll go down here to my dock, I'll open up my trash. And if I want to get rid of, say, Skype, I can just drag it over to my trash and I can delete it. Downside of doing that is that there's like system files and preferences and things like that that get, uh, are still on your computer after you delete this. So I'll undo this. So that's the first technique and I don't use that very often. So the next would be for applications you've downloaded in the App Store. So you have the App Store there. You can delete those using Launchpad. So I'll go up here to Launchpad in my applications. I'll open that up and I'll see all my applications here. If I, and if you use like iOS, an iPad or iPhone, you'll be familiar with this. So you can click on an application and hold down your mouse and they'll all start shaking just like they do on um, a tablet. And you can swipe back and forth. And you'll see a little X here next to applications that are, were purchased in the App Store. So if I go down here to Blackmagic Speed Test, I can click on this little X here. And it'll say, are you sure you want to delete the application? And if I hit delete, it will delete it from the system. And I actually haven't tested if this deletes any of the preference files or not, but um, this is a technique you can use to delete applications. So when you're in this little jiggly mode, you can just click off to the side and it'll stop. And then you can click again, it'll go back to your regular screen. So that's two methods. You can just delete it in the trash. You can use Launchpad. The third method is for some apps, you can um, find an uninstaller within the app. So I'll go down here to Synology Drive Client. And if I right click on this, I can say show package contents. And in here, I have all these folders and we have one called shared support. If I expand that, you'll see this remove Synology Drive Client. So I can double click and run this and it will delete Synology Drive from my system. So um, you don't know which apps are gonna have this and it may be in different folders. It's not always gonna be in shared support. So if you have an app, you could always Google it and you know, type Synology Drive Client Uninstaller and you'll find a little tutorial on how to find these uh, like removal scripts. So I'll use those on certain applications where I know they have a removal script. But my favorite method overall is to use a free app called uh, App Cleaner. And I'll put a link in the description of this website where you can download this. And this is a free application. It's called App Cleaner. If I go back into my apps here, I have the App Cleaner app installed. I'll double click on it and it comes up here. And be careful, um, at least from my experience, you know, always, always have backups of things because, um, you know, if you're downloading and using software, you never know if a virus is going to be in there. But App Cleaner has always seemed very clean to me. I haven't had any virus problems with it, but um, make sure you're downloading it from the proper site, the one I put in the description. Um, and you can always Google Mac App Cleaner, is it safe or something? And if there was a virus in it, you'll probably find a news article on that. So we open up App Cleaner here and we can take an app, uh, I guess we can use Synology Drive Client I was looking at, and we can drag that in here. And you'll see it says Synology Drive Client, which is the application. If we drug that to the trash, we'd remove that 97 megabyte application. We also see here some preferences. Here's this uh, receipt file. Um, here's some other files. Sometimes you'll see cache, things like that. So I'll cancel this. If we go into the preferences of App Cleaner, you'll see it says show protected apps. It says protect default OS X apps and protect running apps. And it says add additional apps to keep safe below. So you can add apps here. And then here's the smart delete function. It says smart delete detects when apps are trashed and will automatically find and offer to remove related files. And I keep that off. I mean, if you want to keep that on, you can. And the third one is check for updates. I always keep it updated. If we go to the app cleaner screen here, I usually do this drag your app on here. You can also click over here in the upper right and it will list all these apps out. So you could select them here and it'll show uh, what files will be removed here. So you can see here, like this is for Visual Studio Code. It's deleting the application, a bunch of other files, caches, logs, etc. So App Cleaner is my first choice for deleting files, but um, sometimes I'll use the other techniques um, depending on what I'm doing. So 
That's it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.